can you explain then, as someone who's immersed in Morris Flitcroft, what, because I was struggling with this watching the film, what kind of a guy sees golf on television for the first time and thinks that he's good enough to play it at the Open? And what kind of a guy doesn't realise that he's not any good? <laughs> it's a good question, but it really comes down to sort of, it, partly it comes down to location and, and it comes down to class and it comes down to Morris's in, in individual, you know, makeup of, of his of his brain. You know, he was from Barrow in Furness, which is when you visit Barrow, especially in the 70s, it was called the Insula Peninsula. And it was only one road in and out. And it was very, it was a very small world. And you talk to people who worked at the shipyard there. It was famous for Vickers Shipyard. And that's all that happened. If you had qualifications, you were in management. And if you were, you didn't, like Morris... You worked in the shipyard and you were known as shipyard fodder. And so Morris, all that's all Morris knew, really. But he did want to um, break out of it. He, he tried a few things, actually, that we were going to put in the film. And you know, he tried writing songs. He tried painting. Um, he was desperate to get out, but he always ended up failing and coming back to the shipyard. Um, and when he discovered golf, I think he genuinely thought, and this is important to me when I spoke to his friends, he genuinely thought he was good enough. Um and he didn't have any barometers to gauge it against. He didn't know people who played golf. And I think if he'd have played with someone who played golf, they'd have said, mate, you're not good enough at all. But it, it, I, I always think it's a bit like the X Factor, you know, or those singing competitions where someone's in their room with a hairbrush and they're going, oh, baby, you know, whatever. And they think, oh, you know what, I sound pretty good. But it was only when he got to the course uh, for, the, for the, the first open qualifier that's, you know, we, it's in the movie, that he realised how bad... He did realise he, he hadn't done well at the end. He sort of admitted he wasn't as good as... He, I said, he said, um, I wasn't as good as I thought I was. Um, so he did eventually realise it, but he still thought, with a bit more practice, he could be good enough. 